I'm replacing a light fixture. I'm taking the old light fixture off. Um, white on white, black on black. I just unwire nutted it, loosened the screws. Took the old light fixture down, made sure my switch was off. Um, this particular light fixture comes with its own wire nuts. Um, they're push-in connectors. They're already connected to the light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and make sure my uh, stripped ends are good and straight and not too long so that I can use those push-in connectors. If you see a spark, don't worry about it. I do stuff live. I just straighten my ends out. Cutting these ones a little shorter because they were too long for the push-in connectors. Your bare copper wire is your ground. This is a plastic box, so my ground won't be necessarily attached to my box. Um, but if you have a metal box, you will want to make sure that you're grounded to the box as well. This particular one, like I said, is a plastic box. I'm just straightening the, uh, the end of that one. I don't have to cut it because it's all bare copper anyway. So usually on your fixtures, you're gonna have a, a yellow or green wire. This one's actually a yellow with a green stripe. I know that's my ground. Um, my white wire is gonna be my common ground. So I'm gonna do white on white. Black should be my hot wire, and you should have a black wire here, um, which I do. So the black is gonna be uh, black on black, white on white, and then uh, yellow or green is your, your copper. So what I'm doing is these push connectors is I'm just taking the end and I'm just shoving it all the way in. You gotta make sure it's all the way in. So after you think it's in, give it a little tug because it'll come out if it's not all the way in. And then white on white. If you have more than uh, these particular connectors, um, will take up to four wires. So if I had a, if this was being used as a junction box and I had more than just my standard three wires coming out of here, I could tie those into these wire connectors as well. So that you know, a lot of times you'll get into some old fixtures and they jumped your hotline from here to an outlet or to another light if you got more than one light in the room. Um, but you can use, they, they do make these connectors. Um, if your light doesn't come with these connectors, they do make them so you don't have to rely on the twist downs. And you can have them, you know, whether it's just two wires or, or four wires, you can buy the connectors to accept the number of wires that you have. And there, now I'm all wired in. Um, this light is adjustable. I've got the different lumens on, so I've already got my uh, my setting here. I think, I can't see it, the writing's too small, but I've already set my setting. So now I wanna push my wires up into the box, because as you can see on the back side of this light, it is gonna mount flat to the ceiling. So I do need my uh, my wires up here out of the way. And again, I'm by no means an electrician. I'm just a do-it-yourselfer. So, if you have any doubt when you get into your wiring, you may want to call a professional. But as you can see, I've got these holes in my box of where my screws are going to go. So as I get these wires up in here, and I know I got my light flat, now I'm going to have to go through you know, these holes in the light fixture and I'm gonna have to line them up with the holes up here in the box so that I can attach my light fixture to the box. And I wanna try to make sure my wires are out of the way of where my screws are gonna go. I'm gonna take my screws and line up my holes. I can see it because without a light, we have no power, right? Can't have no light. I don't have a light. So I'm just trying to line up my holes here. It's 
really a pretty simple task if you can uh, get a better angle. I should have ripped the bed out of the room. I keep getting my wires in the way here. Are you just lining both of them up and then going to screw them in? You got to get them lined up. I'll grab the other screws and that way I can put them in and just twist it on. So the heads of those screws were too big. I was trying to do it the other way, but the heads of these screws are smaller. Being that I'm having trouble lining it up. I'm just going to put these uh, screws in first. I'm not going to tighten them all the way in. I'm just going to get them to where the threads are catching. Maybe. Some of your lights will have a metal bracket that you'll put up. First, you have to make sure that whatever the weight of your light is, is going to be supported. I should have done that in the first place. Tuck my wires in again. And then I should be able to line my screws up. And then just give her a twist so that it's locked into the slot. And then I'll just tighten my screws down because this lid actually twists to lock on. Are most light fixtures like this one? Uh, most of your light fixtures have a slot in them. Every light fixture varies but all your wiring is usually the same unless you get into low volts. Um, this is an LED fixture so I don't want to touch the bulbs necessarily. I'll never have to change bulbs in this one. Um, usually your LEDs will last 10, 15 years, depending on how much you use them and what setting you have on. Why won't you have to change the bulbs in this one? Because they don't take bulbs. When this one burns out, it burns out, you replace the fixture. This panel right here that looks like a circuit board, yeah, that is your light. Where'd you get that light at? I got this light at Lowe's. I just want my fixture to be solid. So like I said, my cover that goes on this twist. So when I, if I ever have to open it up to change the setting or when I go to twist the cover on, I don't want the base to twist with the cover. So there the lights mounted. Let me flip the switch. You can see it's pretty bright. And then I'm just going to take the cover, 
This particular one has got slots in it that fits up over the uh, pins. Just lightly line them up on the pins. And as you see, you, you, you'll feel it go all the way up like that. Then I just give her a quick twist. base might be turning with it so my screws aren't uh, tight enough like we thought for some reason Does it come with the screws? They come, usually a light fixture will come with all your mounting hardware. Normally. This light isn't, uh, all the tabs on this one were up. So it wasn't allowing the trim to lock with the plastic. What are those look like? They're tabs in, in here that were okay. locking the trim into the plastic. There we go. And you don't have to tighten it. I mean, it, it's pretty easy to go on. This is a metal bracket that I'm talking about comes with uh, some of your other lights this was part of the old light so there it is and there's a light from new the light fixture and there you have light very beautiful thank you and you can change the setting <laughs>